what is up guys it's speaking fun fan 97 i'll be showing you guys how to create this cool looking effect behind your text in photoshop it's really cool and easy to do um this basically pops out all your text um and focuses just uh, of what you're going to be seeing really so in youtube if i were to make it smaller this is how it's going to look when you're going down through the thumbnails or the subscriptions box probably like this and it's going to pop out your text is going to come out much easier to the person who's looking at it so that's really cool uh personally can't make this bigger all right so to do this uh i'm going to first delete it and i'm going to show you how to do it from scratch so say you already have everything done make sure you have your text of course put on there and you want to go down to the rectangle tool or just press Q, uh, U then you want to select your text so just like this make sure it's even so about like that should be good and you may notice it's black because the color is black we can always change the color go back to the move tool and go um, double click the rectangle um, one it makes a new layer after you've done that, you want to go down, down to color overlay, change the color since the background is blue. What I did is just basically selected a color, color just like this. Something a little bright, but not too dark. So just like that. And then I did the blend mode to overlay. Um, blend mode. Oh, no, 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 no. Go to normal. Uh, then we're going to create a stroke. Uh, this should be overlay. Make sure this is overlay. All right, so position, whoops, blend mode, overlay. And the color, we shall select a different color. So I'm going to use a darker color, just like that. This is what I used. Or I can go right there. As you can see, the stroke or the line above it. Press OK. Now, once you've done that, um, you want to create a drop shadow. So go down to drop shadow. Blend mode should be... Uh, let's see. I guess we can keep it at multiply. So keep it at multiply. Uh, that should be good. And then opacity should be at 75. Uh, angle at 120. Just at default. Uh, 5. This should be around 10. Oops, not 19. 10. And size should be at 5. That should be good. And then press OK. And that's how you create this uh, cool font. Now, you've got to reduce the opacity, of course, to see the background. So go where it says opacity and bring it down like this so as you can see that's, it makes a cool effect like that you can also just click and drag where it says opacity and that's much better <laughs> and yeah that's how you create a cool um little effect to your text and that is it guys i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial it's a little quick uh tutorial of course so go ahead and smack that like button watch my other videos and i'll see you guys on my next video peace